what is going on everyone hope you're having a good day so today will be a nice quick video explaining how I feel about sway bars because I made a couple videos and people now think that I hate them so instead of con constantly writing to people time and time again saying that I don't I figured I'd make this little video here to explain how I actually feel about the TRD front sway bar and rear sway bar so comment below and let me know what you think now I made a video not long ago saying that a certain modification has ruined my Tundra, and what I was talking about was the TRD front sway bar. So let's start with that one. For me, the TRD front sway bar caused the truck to become very jittery, very bouncy, very bumpy. Everything you go over down the road, even if it's a smooth road, the, the ride just feels very jittery. Now the reason I said that is because I have the TRD Pro suspension. It's not a long travel kit, but there's more travel in the TRD Pro suspension than in a normal Tundra suspension. So what's happening is it's not letting the suspension do what it's meant to do. All right, and that's why I'm feeling the jittering because I'm not letting the suspension expand as much as it may want to on the road. And the same thing goes for the rear sway bar. It affects articulation and it affects travel. It just limits it. I don't dislike the TRD rear sway bar at all. Now I've never had experience with the TRD front sway bar other than the suspension that I have now. So I don't have great things to say about it, but I've talked to quite a few TRD Sport owners, which that truck comes with the TRD front sway bar, and they say they love it, and they don't experience any of the issues I have with mine. And that's because that's a Bilstein street tuned suspension. Um, you know, you got your nice uh, roadworthy tires, everything like that. Uh, you also have a rear sway bar in that truck. They uh, talk about a nice smooth ride with no body roll, and that's awesome. And that's what I've been trying to explain to you guys. It's not the sway bars that are the problem. It's the sway bars with the TRD Pro suspension set up on it. I've driven Tundras with the rear sway bar for a long time, including ones that didn't have the TRD Pro suspension, and it is awesome. It helps with body roll. It helps with cornering. I'm not saying don't buy them. I'm saying it's awesome. But if you have the TRD Pro suspension, you may not want to get the TRD front sway bar or rear sway bar. If you don't have the TRD Pro suspension, I strongly recommend the rear sway bar. And as per what some of my viewers are saying who have that TRD front sway bar on a non-TRD Pro suspension, they really like it and you should look into it as well. Obviously all these parts are available at Sparks Parts. So I had to make that quick little video just to get everybody on the same page. Sometimes when I make a long 10 minute video, it's kind of obvious who makes it to the end and who doesn't as far as what I'm trying to explain things. So one more time in closing, the reason I'm having my issues with the sway bars is because, and only because, that truck has the TRD Pro suspension on it, okay? And spoiler alert for future, the sway bars are gonna be coming off the Platinum Pro so we can let the TRD Pro suspension do what it is meant to do, and that is articulate and travel, all right? So if you have any questions, please comment below the video and let me know, I'll be happy to help you. I hope this helps everyone get on the same page. And once again, all of the, this, you know, everything, sway bars, everything TRD and Toyota related, even some stuff that isn't Toyota related, Magnuson Supercharger, BA Muffler System, all sorts of things available at Sparks Parts. Use the promo code TUNTRADUDE34 to save 5% every single day. So I hope that helped everyone. Have a great Saturday evening. Twitter and Instagram, TUNTRADUDE34, TUNTRADUDE34 gmail.com. Tomorrow, we will be doing a live stream. I will let you know what time at some point tomorrow. Just make sure you're on YouTube or Twitter and Instagram to see my post as to when. Probably be around 7 o'clock. Have a good one.